Albania has a long history of fighting guerrilla warfare. And its military has developed a formidable counterinsurgency strategy to combat these tactics. Since the end of World War II, Albania has seen several insurgencies, including the 1997 Albanian Civil War, a series of uprisings in the Albanian countryside and a series of ethnic Albanian insurgencies in neighboring Kosovo. The Albanian army has developed a successful counterinsurgency strategy which is based on a combination of conventional military tactics and tactics developed by the Albanian general staff. The strategy emphasizes the use of intelligence, psychological warfare, and unconventional tactics in order to counter the guerrilla forces. Albanian forces have a long history of utilizing unconventional tactics to counter guerrilla forces. These tactics include the use of airstrikes, artillery barrages, ambushes, and special operations forces. They also utilize small unit tactics such as reconnaissance patrols, hit-and-run raids, and searches for insurgent hideouts. The Albanian army also employs psychological tactics in order to demoralize and weaken the will of the guerrilla forces. Albanian forces have been known to use propaganda tools such as leaflets, radio broadcasts, and loudspeakers to spread anti-insurgency messages. They also use psychological operations in order to create an atmosphere of fear and uncertainty among the guerrillas. Albania has also adopted a policy of degree hearts and minds, plus or minus in order to win the support of the local population. This includes providing humanitarian aid, engaging in development projects, and working to build public confidence in the government. The Albanian army has been successful in its counterinsurgency operations since the end of the 1997 civil war. There have been no major insurgencies in Albania and the country has enjoyed a period of relative peace and stability. The Albanian army's success in fighting guerrilla warfare can be attributed to its well-developed counterinsurgency strategy and its commitment to the degree hearts and minds plus or minus approach.